Guru Nation, how's it going? Really quick, I want to make a short video for you guys. It's actually inspired by my CRA Academy interns. Right now, we have a new group of students that are just starting the internship, and we do remote monitoring. And the question, one of the common things, and hopefully it helps other people out there right now, there's a lot of remote monitoring happening, is how, where do you start? The place I start is, you've got all the source documents probably out of order. So the first thing I would do is download all the source that you have access to. Then put them in order by dates. Then take the protocol, especially the schedule of assessments, and line up the dates on the source with what should be on the schedule of assessments. Because remember that schedule of assessments and the protocol will have dates. So if screening visit occurs, then one week later, visit one should occur. Two weeks later, visit two should occur. Whatever the timelines are, every study is different. So you can't, you have no idea of knowing if the site's even compliant with basic things like are the patient visits within window. Unless you put all the source together and compare it to the protocol schedule of assessments. Of course, there's a lot more to it than that, but oftentimes it starts with the simple, most basic things. Download everything, put it in order, make sure everything's in order, then start making sure it's compliant with the protocol. And one of the easiest places to start is are the visits being conducted according to the timelines of the protocol. There's a lot more. Of course, protocols have way more details than just visit timelines, but just start there. Talk to you soon, Guru Nation. Bye-bye.